Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be a follow-up to the video that I did a couple days ago on Calmira for Windows 3.1. If you haven't seen that video, I'd highly recommend that you go and check it out. Uh, that way you'll kind of understand what we're going to be doing in this video here. But to briefly sum up that video, essentially we uh, took a look at an alternate shell for Windows 3.1 called Calmira, which essentially uh, gives a Windows 95 look and feel to this operating system right here. And what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at another version of Calmira that essentially has the same uh, purpose, but this version is designed to make Windows 3.1 look like Windows XP, hence the name Calmira XP. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So I've got a uh, Windows 3.1 VM set up here. It's actually the same one that I used to install the regular version of Calmira, you know, that makes it look like Windows 95. So what we're gonna do is go into the main folder over here and open up the file manager. And we're gonna go over to the R drive here and we're going to run the uh, Calmira XP 333 setup file. This is again version uh, 3.33. I assume that this is going to be a very similar setup process, probably identical to the one in Calmira 95, which I'm just gonna be calling that from now on. I know it's not really the official name, but just to kind of differentiate between the 95 version and the XP version, I'm going to call the 95 version of Calmira just Calmira 95 from here on out. So here we are at the pretty much the, the same identical setup wizard that we got for Calmira 95. We're just going to go through, we're going to accept the agreement, we're going to uh, install the program group, click on install and we're not going to view the readme file all right so as you may be able to see things look a little bit different than in the last clip and that is because i've been trying multiple different methods to get windows 3.1 into higher than 256 color as you can see on the screen right now the theme and and you know like the start menu and the taskbar at the bottom that uh, calmira xp has is kind of messed up and the reason for that is is because it needs to be able to uh, or at least from looking at the readme file, it says that you need to have at least a 32k color. And I've tried a various amount of methods of trying to get higher than 256 color in Windows 3.1 using different drivers, different virtual machine softwares, um, even using Microsoft Virtual PC, and it all just wouldn't load Windows for whatever reason. So. Uh, I'm going to have to apologize because we are going to have to take a look at Calmira XP here because I do still want to, you know, take a look at this with you guys, but you see that things are just going to look uh, a little bit, uh, you know, screwed up down here at the bottom, you know, some of the icons and this taskbar and the start menu and everything uh, look much worse than they actually do look. I'll like throw some images on, on the screen right now, but it, this actually looks very similar if not identical to the windows xp start menu and the taskbar um, and it does come up with the same tip of the day thing that it does in windows 95 it just has changed to calmira xp and i actually had the uh the developer of calmira xp actually commented on my calmira 95 video and kind of told how that calmira xp was created this is actually a fork of the original calmira project uh, created by somebody else that was not associated as far as i can tell with the original project so somebody basically took that code because it is open source and they kind of modified it and uh, made it more tailored to a windows xp theme um, i'll have his channel linked down below if you want to go you know check him out and i'll also have um a link to his website where you can download the 4.0 beta version of Camera XP, which includes the XP Luna theme. So the one that I, that I actually installed earlier in the video was the one that's hosted on the Camera website, and it's only version like 3.5 or 3.3, and it looks very similar to the regular Calmira 95, at least in terms of the start menu and the taskbar. There are some other differences, but I, I, I just think to kind of make it look more like Windows XP, it does need to have like the Luna theme, and he eventually did that with this 4.0 beta. So yeah, his channel and his website are going to be down below in the video description if you want to go check them out. But let's just go ahead and uh, close out of this. So here we are on the desktop here. We do have, uh, now this, you know, bliss looking background was not included with the Calmere XP theme. 
uh, just to point that out. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what we have here. So obviously it's kind of going to have the same functionality as uh, Camera 95 as it's trying to bring a Windows 95 or in this case an XP interface over to Windows 3.1. So when we open up the start menu here, we still have that Windows 95 style one column start menu. This isn't going to obviously bring over the Windows XP two column style start menu. But it does bring over some of the Windows XP icons. You may be able to see here that uh, a lot of these icons are straight from Windows XP. We can go into programs here. Uh, let's go into accessories here. Well, let's actually open up the Camera Explorer and we'll see uh, what this looks like. So you can see that once again, we do have some Windows XP folder icons, some uh, generic program icons, and even the Windows XP logo on uh, these .386 files and you know all these different uh, system files here. So yeah, he's definitely done a very good job at, at kind of bringing over that Windows XP theme over to Windows 3.1. Obviously, all of the regular 3.1 programs are not going to change. We can also go into uh, the Task Manager once again, and, and we get that Windows NT style Task Manager, uh, pretty much identical, aside from like uh, the you know Luna buttons and the you know headings up here. Again, it does not display 100% like it should, and that's just because I do not have the proper driver installed. In some of the screenshots that I've seen, the Windows 3.1 like the title bar and the window controls will stay exactly the same. It's just the actual contents of the window that will change. And again, I'm going to be putting up images kind of while I'm talking about this to give you a you know visual kind of on what that Camera XP is supposed to look like. One thing that we can also do is go into the start menu properties here and we can again rearrange all of these options in the start menu to your liking. So if we wanted the uh, this documents folder to be above the programs folder, we can move that, click on OK, and now when we open up the start menu, the documents is going to be uh, right up there. So one thing that we can also do is actually go into, so if, if we go into the programs here, I think it's actually under settings. Yeah, we can go to uh, Camera XP properties. And in here are some new options that we didn't have in the previous version of Camera. And one of them is we can change the window style. So if you did not like the Windows XP styled windows, you can actually change them back to the Windows 9X or the 2K style windows. So let's go ahead and do that and uh, see what that does. Let's go ahead and close out of my computer here. And now you can see when we open back up that properties window, it now looks more like, you know, a Windows 95 or a Windows 2000 style uh, window. We can also change the buttons as well if we want to go ahead and change that. Uh, go ahead and go back into that uh, option there. So I'll go back into Come Your XP Properties. And now you see we have uh, some Windows uh, 9X or 2K styled buttons. So there is definitely a decent amount of uh, customizability from within this program. So if you, for example, liked the window style to be Windows XP, but you wanted the buttons to be from Windows 9X, you can change that. So let's go ahead and give you a look at what that would look like. So let's say that you want a Windows XP style windows and 9X buttons. We can go ahead and close out of that. And now we go back into uh, the properties. And now, you know, we, we've got, and once again, I'm going to probably say this a lot, is that this is not how that the theme normally looks it's just because i don't have the proper driver installed was not able to get it successfully installed so it does look much better than this i assure you that um, and we can even even do the same thing with the taskbar so if you did not like the luna theme on the start menu in the taskbar you can go ahead and change that as well so now we do that and we're probably going to have to uh, close out of calmira just to get that to you know, take effect let's go back into the program manager run calmira and there we go. So now we have a Windows 9X style taskbar. Although it still does look a little bit blue, that may be just a you know graphical uh, problem there. But it's you know changes it back over to the Windows 95 style start button with the old Windows logo, and it makes the start menu look uh, more gray. But that is essentially going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video 
on Calmira XP. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to also get subscribed down below and turn on notifications if you haven't already to get notified about whenever I upload new videos in the near future, which I do every week on this channel. I also do want to give a huge thank you to the uh, to both the uh, developer of Calmira XP and the developers of the original Calmira for you know putting their hard work into these programs. It is definitely really cool and i want to give a huge thank you to you guys for watching and as always i will see you in the next video